Good morning, this is Professor Vijay Sekhar from the Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we are discuss unit number 6. Out of unit number 6, we are going to discuss today that is uh, topic color model. Then first question is, what is color model? A color model is an abstract mathematical model, like mathematical representation that describes the way color can be represented as a tuples of a numbers, like typically three or four values of a color model. Say for example, we are going to use RGB color model in website development or in mobile application development, if, where we are going to provide a three values, tuple, one for red, one for green and one for blue. Similarly, uh, any color model is a set of mathematical description which will provide some values of typical three or four colors. A few color models we will discuss here are XYZ color model, RGB color model, YAQ color model and CMY color model. Very first that is XYZ color model. A set of CIE primaries is generally referred to as a XYZ or XYZ color model. Here we are not specified any primary colors. They are just named as XYZ. Any primary we can take which we, which will give us a wide range of a color when we are combining these three primary color. XYZ represent a vector in three dimensional additive color space. Uh, one for x direction, one for y direction, one for z direction, or we can say unit cube, uh, which represent uh, each each edge each each uh, axis is represent one color. Any color x uh, c lambda is combining of combine combination of three primary colors, mm -hmm. and they are saying that uh, said that uh, when we are going to obtain any color, that color can be obtained by combining all these three colors in different different amount maybe x amount of x color y amount of y color and z amount of z color that's why you return xx plus yy plus zz here first x represent a amount and second x represent a color similarly y first y is amount similar and second y is color so where xyz is amount of standard primary colors need to combine for obtaining a color C lambda. If we normalize it, then normalize means we are going to convert it into range 0 to 1. So when we convert this into 0 to 1, then that conversion can be done by small x is equals to x upon x plus y plus z is similarly y and z. And when we convert this into normalization, then normalize, then it will give some is always equals to 1 that means x plus y plus z is always equals to 1 so when we know that then sum of all these three component will always be equals to 1 then if you have two components say for example x and y then z can be calculated like z is equals to 1 minus x minus y so x and y are called chromaticity value because that depends on you know u and purity it will purely depends on color not a intensity value now if we specify a color with only x and y value we cannot find amount x y and z like how much amount we are going to add any particular color that we cannot find from only small x and small y and for that we specify color with x y and capital y we can also you take capital x but here we are going to take capital Y and they, in that case we are going to calculate capital X and capital Y given as capital X equals to small x upon y into y and similarly capital Z where z small z is equals to 1 minus x minus y. Now second model that is RGB color model like RGB color model is developed based on testimonial theory of vision that when normal human going when per person when we are going to see something that image is formed on retina and then retina have three p color pigments and that color pigments will sense the color and th these three color pigments have peak sensitivity at red green and blue color so uh, combining this three color we can obtain a wide range of color this concept is used in rgb color model this model is represented as unit cube in which one axis is represented red, one axis is represented as green, 
and one axis is represented as blue here a uh, origin represent a black and a uh, vertex 111 represent a white a vertex of a cube on axis represent a primary color that is r g and b in rgb color model any color intensity is combination of addition of primary color that is c lambda is equals to r amount of r color plus g amount of g and b amount of b where r b g r amount of corresponding primary color since it is bounded in between unit cube its value is value is very in a between 0 to 1 and represented as triplet as we know that we are going to take a normalized form so its value will be in range from 0 to 1 and that value is represented in terms of triplet one for red one for green and one for blue for example a magenta color is represented with 101 because magenta color is required red color and blue color and no green color so green color will be 0 and red color and blue color are 1 1 so in that case we will going to get magenta color now one question comes in your mind that uh, when we are going to use it in a practical like in website development and software development at that time we are going to provide a value of rgb color model in the range of 0 to 2 pi pi then why i am saying over here what uh, i am going to provide a value in between 0 to 1 because that right now whatever color values we are going to use that color values is stored in a 24 bit 8 bit for each primary color 8 bit for red color 8 bit for green color and 8 bit for blue color this three these three colors are having value of 8 bit and that 8 bit range that is 2 raised to power 8 that is equals to 255 so we are having a range from 0 to 255 for each color red green and blue sets of a gray are represented along a main diagonal which is which you can say this is a main diagonal of our figure here white and here black and this uh, dotted line represent a main diagonal in which we gave we can get gray scale because on that diagonal all three colors red green and blue are in equal amount say for example halfway gray if you want to then that is equals to 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and that may be somewhere over here in the main, on the main diagonal third model that is yiq color model as we know rgb monitors require separate signal for red green and blue component of an image because we are going to use three eight first eight bit for red second eight bit for green and green and third eight bit for blue so total 24 bits but television monitors use a single composite signal for this a composite signal for this computer national television standard committee ntsc use a yiq color model they are not going to use rgb color model and that here parameter y is represent the luminance or brightness and chromaticity information u and purity that is combination of u and purity is known as chromaticity information is specified into i and q parameters a combining of all red green and blue intensity are chosen for a y so black and white television monitors only use signal y for a brightness because black and white television does not require any color information they only require a brightness information and that's why that y signal is separated from a color definition color information and color information is provided into i and q and that's why so largest bandwidth of total bandwidth like about 4 megahertz is assigned to y information signal parameter i contains orange cyan u information that provides a flash tone setting and occupies bandwidth approximately 1.5 i i i are having orange and cyan u information while parameter q carries green and magenta info, u information in bandwidth and approximate bandwidth of that is 0 0.6 megahertz and rgb signal can be converted now question comes in mind that if 
if we are having rgb values if we are going to take any capture capture any video capture any photograph in rgb model and then we were going to display it on television then uh, we need to convert it into yaq values so rgb value can be easily converted into yaq value and this conversion is done by this transformation and this transformation matrix is known as color color model transformation that is rgb to yaq color model transformation and that's value is fixed and we are going to just multiply this matrix with rgb values and we will get yaq value and on the other end similarly when we need a reverse conversion at that time also we are going to have a conversion matrix which convert a yaq value into rgb value fourth color model that is cmy color model cmy color model is used for hard copy devices actually when we are going to print on uh, on a xerox shop or any uh, printing shop at that time uh, we have seen that there are written cmy prints what does it mean that they are going to use cmy color model for your printing process we produce a picture by coating a paper with a color pigment actually actually when we are going to print something at that time what is the what is the pigment we are going to use that uh, if we can say that i i am seeing red color on paper that means that pigment is not absorbing red light and it will going to reflect me red light that is that's why we see the color by reflecting light as a subtractive process when a white light is reflected from a cyan color ink like when we when we throw a white light on any cyan color ink at that time if cyan color is clear yeah, then cyan color does not have any component of red color so light red component of that red light is absorbed and subtracted by the ink that means if you want to see a cyan color at that time a pigment is required which can absorb a red color completely similarly magenta is subtracting a green component because magenta is here and magenta does not have any green component so if you want to display magenta color then we need a pigment which completely absorb a green color point 111 represent a black because all components are subtracted and origin represent a white here it is exactly opposite to the rgb color model because it is subtractive color model so our 111 point vertex is black color and our origin that is 000 is a white color and again on this main diagonal which is shown as dotted line it will show a gray line a gray can be produced along a main diagonal by using all three colors in equal amount a printing process often use cmy model generates a color points with collection of four ink one for each primary color cmy and one for dot is black because nowadays black are given a separate value in so many devices uh, there are used uh, we, we are, in so many devices four inks are used for printing cmy and fourth one is black black are uh, given separately because black color are most mostly used in printing process that's why it is given a separate ink a conversion of rgb to cmy is done by simply subtracting a 111 matrix uh, from one subtracting rgb value from a 111 matrix and will get cmy matrix and similarly a uh, rgb value can be get from cmy value cmy color model value by subtracting again from 111 matrix that's all thank you keep watching keep learning have a nice day